Welcome, welcome patrons! I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to start covering the human tribes, so here we are with the first episode. This week we're talking about the Chastened, the tribe that most players come across first in the series, even if not much is known about them. History. Before we go any further with the Chastened, know that not much has been said about them in-game and other expanded material, but their history and culture has been developed a lot through the DARPG tabletop set. The DARPG can be a little dubious in regards to its lore, so it is possible that a lot of this will one day be rewritten, but for the moment, this is what we have. As you might remember from the Human Tribes video, the Chasen came from the Alamari, breaking off a negative 1,415 ancient to go live in the Kokari Wild. According to their own lore, the Alamari had been a forest-dwelling people, so they adapted quickly to the wetlands of their new home. When the Chasen split off from the Alamari for reasons unknown and settled into the wilds and tundra they call home, the tribe became known for their shamans and great respect for magic. Accounts exist that talk about how the Chasen split off due to being strange and twisted by dark desires, and years after splitting up from the Alamari, invaded with white shadows and twisted swamp creatures. They would rule the Alamari for some time, although how long or if it even happened is debated, until the Alamari would rise up, kill the shamans, and drove the rest of the people back into the Kokari wilds where they currently are. Jumping in time to when the Tevinter Imperium controlled the Ferelden area, the Tevinters built the fortress of Ostagar to watch for uprisings from the Chastened people. When the Tevinters left in negative 184 ancient, the Chastened took the fortress for their own, but would abandon it soon after Ferelden was founded. In 140 Divine, when the Second Blight began to pop up in Ferelden, an Alamari man named Hafter took his people and drove out the Darkspawn. But seeing an opening for attack, the Chastened, combined with the Avar people, invaded. It would take 10 years before Hafter drove them both back to their respective lands. About 250 years later, in the Tower's Age, Flemeth gained power over the Chastened People, and with her daughters and an army of Wilders, they began to march to the north for vengeance. Cormac, along with an army of Alamari and Orzammar Dwarves, drove out Flemeth and the Chastened Armies, leaving the Wilder People almost destroyed. And because of this, even hundreds of years later, the people of Ferelden still look upon the Chastened with suspicion and hatred. About a hundred years later, in the Black Age, the werewolf threatened Ferelden hit the Chastened hard. And by that, I mean that an Ara living on the edge of the Kokari Wilds believed that the Chastened were werewolves and killed as many as he could, and this slaughter lasted for about 20 years. A legend says that a mother, finding her sons dead from the Arl's forces, took a blade that killed her boy and plunged it into her own chest. Where her blood hit the ground, a mist began to rise and spread over the entire wild, causing the Arl's men to lose their way and die. And that is why the wild is currently a foggy mess. And then, jumping to the fifth blight in 930 Dragon, as the blight itself came from the Kokari Wilds, many chastened homes were destroyed, with refugees fleeing far north into Ferelden. Settlements. The DARPG lists one settlement in the Kokari Wilds that the chastened have, and another is listed in a very old Dragon Age Origins guidebook that I don't own and can't find a copy of, but is listed on the DA wiki. The DARPG one is called Dossov, which is known for their wild wine. We'll get to that in a bit. The other is Tom Bigby? Tom Bigby? Anyway, is a secret city on stilts, leading to the nickname Stilt City, its location only known by the Chastened. Other Chastened villages do obviously exist, with homes built on stilts or even in giant treetops. For the most part, all of the Chasen settlements are in the Kokari Wilds. While some have ventured into the deep tundra of the south, which they called the Sunless Lands, it is rumored that there is a group of people that live there called the Agati, which in the Chasen language means the exiled, so we can guess that this group could have split off from the Chasen themselves. Societal Structure now the Chasen are not a unified people. There are multiple tribes that, while well, all call themselves Chasen, are unique and independent from one another. Each tribe is ruled by a shaman, or a witch, or a chieftain in some codex entries, it kind of depends, but all of them are supposed to be mages. Each chieftain, shaman, witch, whatever have you, has a title, and while I don't know the male version, the female version is Baba, and then the person's name. At the moment, while Ferelden as a whole ignore the Chasens, some worry that if they are united once again, they could take control of the nation. Culture The Chasens themselves are said to be a stronger and shorter people than those in Ferelden. They also tend to have a darker skin tones and dark hair. Many of the Chasens that we see in game and have been described in codex entries have markings on their faces. It's been described as both face paint and tattoos, and I'm not really sure which one is correct. Uh, the markings most likely correlate to what tribe the Chasen belong to. 
Despite their violent past for both Tevinter and Ferelden, most Chasen today are actually pretty peaceful, even though they are still raided by Templars and other Ferelden's. This is most likely prompted by Chasen stalkers, small tribes or even just individual people who have turned to a more violent nature and sneak out of the wilds in search of easy prey, with some being so barbaric that they torture and even eat their victims. As the chastened people are able to live in one of the most dangerous swamps in Thetis, the people value those with strong survival skills. They have developed a system of leaving rocks behind in a way to communicate trails, places of interest, and even warnings, all in a way that outsiders don't understand and believe them just to be a pile of rocks. The chastened are known to personify the seasons as female warriors with heads of animals. Winter is supposed to be brutal and tied to the custom of killing those who flee from battle and as tradition says, to be killed by their own mothers. The beliefs of the chastened are based in animism, in that everything has a spirit and power. It is unknown what gods they worship, but there are supposed to be gods in their religion. Their culture is highly superstitious. For example, they try to make their weapons look like animals so that when they kill something, the gods will confuse the animal the weapon is based on as the real killer rather than the chastened person. They also make carvings from bone to make protective ambulance and fertility charms. The shamans and witches of the community seem to be the religious leaders. It's also described that they use a distillation from the root bulbs of the death root plant to induce hallucinations in which they seek mystic knowledge. While it is not mentioned that they worship her, Flemeth is a highly respected figure in Chasen legend, with word that the witches of the wilds taught the Chasen shamans slash witches their magic. Legend of the Chasen also talk of fire sprites, little fairy-like creatures that one can capture and put into lamps to better be guided into the wilds, even if the fire sprites will die. Despite how cold it is in not only Ferelden, but the southernmost part of Ferelden, the Chasen people don't tend to wear much clothing. One explanation on why this could be is that the Chasen are famous for their ice salves, a made of a mixture of herbs you rub it on your skin to protect you from the cold. The few clothes they do wear are made from fur and leather and are decorated with bone and teeth. Their armor tends to be designed not really as protection, but to be scary looking. I don't really have much on what the Chasen eat, other than that they make wild wine, which is more of a grain alcohol than actual wine, and that a lot of their diet tends to be native fish and wildlife that they hunt. There is also an item in both Origins and Inquisition called Chasen Sackmead, although by its description it sounds more like own a religion thing than anything else, as it mentions apple blossoms, which are found in Orlay and not really in Ferelden, especially the southernmost part. There have been a few instances in the series where our legions seem to have taken things and even people from the chastened tribes during their occupation in Ferelden, so I'm almost willing to bet that this is one of those. A recipe for the chastened that has an our legions spin to it. And that, dear patrons, is all that we know about the chastened. Do you still have lingering questions, proof that I'm wrong, comments about your own fan theory? Feel free to tweet me at, at on Twitter or send a PM to user Gillanon on Reddit. Dresh roll.